What's going on guys? Today I'd like to talk a little bit about conversations and how to better hold someone's interest when you're having a conversation. I've been working on this myself a little bit, so stick around. Okay, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So the largest demographic on this channel are men between about 35 and 64. A lot of these guys are married or in relationships, but a lot of you guys are single. I meet and talk to a lot of different guys that are recently divorced and they find themselves back out there looking for a new relationship. Now, I am not a dating or relationship expert, but I do have some experience in this specific arena. And also guys, you do not have to be single to benefit from watching this video. Having better conversations can help with lots of different areas of your life. By asking better questions and genuinely engaging in conversation, the person you're talking to automatically feels that you're invested in them and they will want to keep the conversation going. Look guys, this concept is not rocket science, but it's also a lot easier said than done. So the next question is, how do I keep the conversation going? There's a lot of things you can do, but start by being informed and asking better questions. Okay, first of all, don't be afraid. If you want to have a conversation with someone, start one. If you are afraid that they won't talk to you, they weren't talking to you a second ago, so it doesn't matter, and that's not even a valid fear, at least in my opinion. Ask obvious questions that start small talk. I even mentioned this in another video a little while ago, but compliment people on something. Practice on random people at the grocery store. Practice on your server at different restaurants and try using better words. An example, instead of asking, what do you like to do in your free time? Ask, what's your passion or what are you passionate about? People want to talk about their passion. Maybe they've got a visible tattoo or something. Ask about it, like, wow, I'm super digging your tattoo. What's the story behind that? As they tell the story, look for things you have in common so you can expand on that and push the conversation forward. Next one, be informed. So this is something that I'm working on personally. So I'm not super into politics, but I do have my opinions. Um, I also don't watch a whole lot of network television right now, and I get most of my current event updates online. I've also been discovering a lot of new courses on Skillshare for about the last few months since I heard about them from watching other YouTube videos. The cool thing is when they reached out to me to sponsor a video, I instantly knew what I wanted to talk about because having more things to talk about automatically makes you appear more interesting and it's a heck of a lot easier to keep conversations going. Skillshare is sponsoring this video and if you're not familiar, this is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring courses. You can explore courses in marketing, productivity, crafts, photo and video, along with tons more about entrepreneurship and even graphic design. There's tons to explore. I've been getting into some social media courses and even some cooking courses from Julia Tertian and interior design courses from Lauren Cox because guys, to be honest, cooking is kind of a weak point for me. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your own creative journey forward without missing out on life. Make 2020 the year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your own creativity. Look, an annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month, but if you click the link down below in the description, you can get two months of premium membership for free, and you can start 2020 off by learning something new today that you didn't know yesterday. Here's a really great quote from Bill Nye. He said, everyone you will ever meet knows something you don't. Gentlemen, you have to be open and willing to learn something from the other person. If you think you know everything about everything, you're just not going to be very fun to talk to. But when you really engage and you're willing to learn something new from someone, your conversation gets a lot more genuine and meaningful and you make a greater impact on the other person. Next one, be present, don't multitask. So like it or not, there's no such thing as multitasking. You're basically just switching focus from one thing to another thing really quickly. And the truth is when you're in one task, you're not in the other one. So we've all had those conversations where it becomes really clear that the other person isn't paying attention. They might say they're listening while checking their phone or something, but it doesn't feel very good on the receiving end of that behavior. If you want to work on making better conversations, be present and listen. And when you listen to somebody, listen to listen. Don't listen to reply. There's a difference. Sometimes 
The best questions are the easiest, and that's simply to ask why. Ask an opinion about something basic. Now, don't get too complicated because otherwise it can start to sound like an interrogation and you don't want that. So also, if you don't know something, say you don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't know whatever it is you're talking about, but you fake it like you do know, you start fumbling around and it becomes pretty obvious really quickly that you don't know and the credibility that you're trying to build just went down the toilet. Okay, before I get into the last couple that I wanna talk about, if you're digging this kind of men's lifestyle stuff for grownups, please consider subscribing to this channel because the entire premise around this YouTube channel is to prove that it's never too late and you're never too old to change something that you want to change no matter what that is. Okay, a few more gentlemen. It's important that you make eye contact because if the other person is talking and you're looking around the room at something else, it becomes really apparent to the other person that you'd rather be somewhere else talking to maybe somebody else. So if you're into the conversation, be into it completely. Also, gentlemen, don't assume that you know what it feels like for the other person. For example, if they're telling you something tragic, don't automatically jump in with a response and say, oh my gosh, that happened to me too. Instead, ask things like, how does that feel to be reminded of that? Or what was that like for you? So these deeper questions that make the other person search to describe their feelings, so they could be happy feelings or maybe sad feelings, but either way, if you're asking better questions that cause the other person to tell you things that they normally otherwise wouldn't talk about, you just became a lot more memorable and you made a connection. You have to be genuine here though, don't fake this. So like I mentioned earlier, hit that link down below in the description to get your two free months of premium membership from Skillshare. And if you're subscribed to my channel, and I sure hope that you are, I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, gentlemen, live well, and I'll see you soon.